All right, the purpose of this video is to show you how your order flow works in Odoo. So let's actually look at your order flow. The video that you sent us, uh, we'll go through. Um, looks like you create an invoice, you pull up some products here, you open up one of the product records, which is the FOT704FU product, uh, and um, yeah, I, you click around a bit. You then go back to your invoice or your order entry screen. You don't add an line item, but you begin to modify up here, right? date, invoice number, the bill to address, the ship to address, all of those are being completed. The PO number you complete, uh, terms, shipping, and now you're editing the ship to address. And then you go and you proceed to enter the actual item code, the description, you give it a warehouse or site that it will ship from, quantity, price, tax, shipping and handling here, which I'm not sure if it pulls via this field or if you automatically input it. Looks like you automatically input a value of 32 here from what we saw, um, right here. And then it updates, uh, or nope, then to 34, no tax, that's fine. Um, at this point, it looks like you pull up a page here, the customer payment, you modify the amount, 286, which is the same total on the order. Uh, then you specify, I think here, that you're going to build credit card, uh, and then you save, and it, from what I can tell here, this is the back to the product page, but you, uh, then it marks that invoice as paid. From what I can tell, once that payment is entered, I believe it marks it as paid. Yep, and that seems to be the end of the flow. So let's, uh, let's look at what that looks like in Odoo. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the sales app. As you know, it's the sales app where you enter orders in Odoo. You're gonna enter the customer. You have your bill to address and your ship to address. Right here, invoice address and delivery address. Customer reference or the PO number. You could enter the customer's PO and here you define the warehouse from which you're gonna ship from. In this case, there are two warehouses that we have set up here. Um, next, expiration quote, you can define your terms here and you add your products. So in this case, we'll add the product that you had for the $252. You can configure your taxes here, or you can use tax cloud. Um, we're gonna actually not, we could add a ship to product as you have here, the ship and handle, but we also have the uh, shipping here. So we can get the FedEx rate, just like that, get a rate in real time, add it to the order. And at that point, you'll go ahead and you'll confirm your order. And it'll generate a delivery right from uh, the New York, uh, NC warehouse. But we'll first then create the invoice, just like that. And we can confirm the invoice based on what we have live here and go ahead and register the payment and we'll charge John Doe's credit card electronically. Just like that, marks the invoice is paid and you'll see that we've invoiced this product and at that point your team can go here and they can validate the shipment in two clicks, which automatically creates the tracking number, uh, right, it assigns it here, but it also automatically sent an email to John Doe. I just have it set up here with the tracking number live in that email and they could click it right from there and access it. So just to confirm, let's count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, right? We can see how many seconds it takes us to process a quick order, just like that. Add the shipping, we're at six seconds. Uh, we can get a rate in real time. We're about at 10 seconds. Add this, confirm, so about 11, 12 seconds to process that order, not even. We can create the invoice in one, two, three, four, and in five seconds, just like that, you can charge the credit card and it's billed. And in probably another five seconds, we could rush off to that delivery. We could click validate, apply it, execute, print the product, uh, excuse me, print the shipping label in real time, as you can see down here, and get that reference number to our, uh, to our customer. So all in, honestly, probably 15, 20 seconds once you get good at it to process an entire order, including the shipment tracking number in Odoo. Um, the idea here, of course, is to show you how quickly you can execute this. If you have additional questions or you want to learn more about this flow or there's something we didn't cover that you are, in fact, interested in seeing, let me know and I'll be more than happy to write, create another video, dig deeper, and show you, you know, what it is uh, that we can do for you. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.